Okay, so that crossfade was there for a reason. It's because I died when I first tried to record this. That's the only thing that happened. I died during the third freaking wave. Anyways, uh, there's going to be three wa uh, five waves in each round. The starter wave is usually just a basic uh, series of bandits or something. There's probably there may be there's more than likely going to be some skags with them, and uh, the guys will attack each other. Um, as you can see, my shotgun is making some quick work of them. Uh, this map over... Hey, I died! Thank you, lunatic! Uh, this map is sort of... I want to say it's more of the Jacob's Cove zombie island map than anything else. Because uh, it's got that creepy Halloween-y feel to it, and it's got the trees. And as many people are already wondering... What's a tree? <laughs> um, but yeah, the first round isn't really anything spectacular. Just go around killing everything. Uh, use your compass. Uh, I use my compass a lot in these maps just because it's big and you just can't figure out where a lot of the things are. Anyways, uh, the five waves are always the same setup, but the guys are randomized. Uh, and the positions of the guys are randomized. After every round, you there's a drop of uh, mega health and ammo packs. Uh, they aren't full health. As you can see, I picked up a mega health pack, and I'm not at full health. It's just a lot of health. Anyways, I run up here so I can get a uh, better position, because in the middle is just stupid. Anyway, second round is always the gun wave. And uh, it's basically... There's more than likely going to be some lance. There's going to be some bandits with guns. There, it's a whole bunch of guys with guns. No psychos or meleeers or anything. Uh, stupid lance sentinel. Go away. Die. I don't like you. I don't know if anybody does. Ah, commando. <gasps> okay, I should stop making comments as if I'm doing this live. <laughs> uh, yeah, he burned down. Okay, so yeah, the gun round is just basically no psychos, which is kind of nice. Until you get to the next round. Which is the one I died on. Hey, it's a bully. Yay. Love how things burn down around me. Um. Yes. That's basically it. See, now you see why I didn't want to post every single round with commentary. I'm already running out of things to say. Uh. Okay, a bit, little bit about the map. There's that little middle area. And it's... Okay, I guess. It's got the shielding around it, but overall, I don't like being anywhere in that middle area because you're a sitting duck. Uh, you, you've earned it. Yes, I have earned it. Uh, okay, yeah, there's the entrance which we started at. If you die, you go up to the penalty box. If you have other players with you, you could start shooting and uh, helping your teammates from the penalty box. But uh, you cannot return until some set time I do not know of. So of what are you wave 3, the Horde Wave. This is my least favorite wave. Uh, I had to reload my SMG. <laughs> this is all psychos. All of them are psychos. Every last one of them. I died because five... It, like. The first half of the psychos that came at me were all fire psychos, and I couldn't burn any of them down, and I got trapped in a corner. Uh, oh, I think I end this off, this one off, quite magnificently. Anyways, uh, oh, that guy had a grenade. Yay! Okay, yeah. So basically, just stick around, walk backwards, kill them. Don't try to get yourself killed. Use your skills if you need to. Okay, here we go. There we go. Magnificent way to end this. Or not end it, but almost. Okay, yes. And he blew himself up. <laughs> uh, so after every wave, there's the supply drop with health and ammo, and I want to get some health because I'm kind of low on it, and I'm. Yeah. Uh, the. 
fourth wave is the badass wave. There's going to be about three or four badasses, and uh, with each of them is going to be a couple, one or two of the lesser minions with them. So as you can see up there, there is a super bad desperado, which is the badass of this arena of the arenas in the second playthrough. I'm not sure about the first playthrough. This is the second playthrough, by the way. You couldn't tell by the level 50s. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just hunting this specific guy down and then going on here. Did I you a show or didn't I? Next Someone up is a bully you. over there. Oh right, this is a weird wave. I don't know why I did it, but I didn't see that many badasses. Like, I think I saw one or two, but not too many. Oh, hello. I may be mistaken. There is one there. The super bad bully. And Mike puts his sleep. Okay, so a little bit more about the map. Uh, on the outside, there's a couple of series of buildings. Oh, I'm just getting health here. Uh, there's jack-o'-lanterns, which makes me think of Jacob's Cove. None of them have mustaches, though. One had a mustache, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and he didn't burn down, and yeah, I had to go hunt him down. This wave isn't too, too bad if you know what you're doing against badasses. And I tend to th hope I do. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's... Okay, well, I redeemed myself with that last shot, but... <laughs> um, and the last guy has an electric combat rifle, I think. And he is down there somewhere. Except I don't find him. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's a... There's just, sometimes there's a guy, a couple guys sniping from up top there, up top of those staircases. There's the last Desperado that was with the uh, super bad Desperado. Uh, I like that little building to the left. It is a nice one. Uh, it's good to sit around in and it's pretty easy to defend yourself because it's enclosed and I think there's only... Th there's not that many entrances to it. Anyways, uh, the final round is a boss wave. I can't remember which boss I fought in this. Boss wave is going to be a random, I think it's random, I may be wrong, a uh, random boss that you've already fought. I kind of doubt Skagzella is going to show up, or Mo or Marley, uh, but in this one, I missed what the name was. Oh yeah, music is awesome in, this, uh, in the boss rounds. Uh, some lunatics. Oh yeah, it was... Uh, it was the dude with the roaster, uh, Taylor Cobb. Yeah, they had grenades, that's why I went and did this. Anyways, yes, there's Taylor Cobb, he's got his roaster and rocket launcher and he's killing people. Or trying to kill people. Um, overall, I think they did a pretty good job at balancing these waves out. Um, you just have to remember what strategies you may have used on the previous bosses to kill them. Of course, with me being the siren, I have the melee dazing, which is basically what I use, and I'm almost dead. I am dead! Yay! Reload, reload. Thank you. Okay. And this will end off this round. And after every round, there is a light right where you spawned, and now you must go and uh, collect your weapons before they disappear or something stupid. I'm not sure how many weapons will appear uh, if you have more people, but that's how many appeared for me. I've seen less and, uh, yeah, I've seen two or three guns, basically. Um, and after every round, you get this. But that is all for this round, this map. So, go ahead and click another map to Go there. I do the Angelic Ruins second after Helberbia. I went in numerical order from where they were on the map. So go ahead, click one, and enjoy the next set.